So let's do another example here. Let's say that we've got a loudspeaker here and it's, it's producing sound. And we've got two people out here. One person is a distance R1 away from the speaker. And another person over here is a distance R2 away from the speaker. So let's say that R1 is 22 meters. Let's say that R2 is 78 meters. And the sound level at the first person is going to be 85 decibels. And so I want to know what is the sound level at the second person. And so what we do is we know that the, the decibel level is 10 log I over I naught. So that means we need to find the intensity out here. Well, to do that, we need to know the intensity up here. Okay, that would allow us to find the power because we know that intensity is power over area. So let's go back and just look at person one right here. So person one is 22 meters away from the speaker. Okay, and so I want to find I1. What's the intensity for this person? And so to do that, we know that the decibel level, uh, uh, 10 log I over I naught. So uh, uh, this is going to be 85 decibels is 10 log I over I naught. So 8.5 equals log I over I naught. So that means that I is going to be 10 to the 8.5 times I naught. Remember, I naught is 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And so I is going to be 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter. Okay, now we've got this sound being spread out on the surface of a sphere of radius R1. So it's the same sound level everywhere because we're assuming that the speaker is omnidirectional. Gives off sound in all directions. So R1 is 22 meters. So we know that intensity is power over area. So in this case, it'll be the area of a sphere. Now the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. You know, whenever I ask for area of the sphere, people think like 4 thirds pi r cubed. No, that's the volume. We want the area of a sphere. So 4 pi r squared. So the power is 4 pi r squared times i. So that'll be 4 pi times 22 meters squared times 3.16 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter so the power is 1.92 watts. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot. Power, 1.92 watts? You know, how is that working? You know, that doesn't sound like very much for a speaker. Because you go to the store and you buy speakers, and they always have way more than like 2 watts of power. Uh, well, that's because if you've got a speaker here, the speaker is making sound come out, and it comes out with a certain power. That's not normally the power that they advertise. Instead, it's the electrical power in they advertise, because that is a much bigger number than the sound power that comes out. Uh, uh, now, the really high-end speakers, the good ones, they give you the sound power out because they know that's really what's important. But the uh, uh, other speakers, they normally advertise how much electricity they use instead of how much power that comes out. And the two are not exactly related because uh, part, of, part of the power out depends on the actual mechanism of the speaker, the electronics, and so forth. And so uh, it's not directly related. It's somewhat related. Typically more power in means more power out, but not always. Okay, so now we have the speaker omnidirectional, so the sound's going out in all directions equally, and so now we have a person 78 meters away. So I want to know what's the intensity there. So the intensity is power over area, so power over 4 pi r squared, so it's going to be equal to 1.92 watts divided by 4 pi 78 meter squared. 
So I2, the intensity out there is going to be 2.51 times 10 to the minus fifth watts per square meter. So to find the, in, the sound level, uh, that's going to be 10 times the log of that intensity, 2.51 times 10 to the minus fifth watts per square meter divided by I naught, 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Okay, and, and so the, the sound level will be 74 decibels. Okay. Now, we assume a speaker that was omnidirectional. What if instead the speaker up here had a little horn on it, and so that made the sound go out in a cone like that? Okay, it now, instead of the sound being spread out over a whole sphere, it's spread out over the, just the end of the cone. So if we call that distance D right there, uh, or I guess we can call that R right there, and, and so now if that's R, then the area is going to be pi R squared. Okay, and so if this distance is D right there, okay, and uh, we have, you know, the, the, the spread here is theta, then that would mean that R is equal to D tangent theta over 2, because we just want that angle right there. Okay, so if we assume that theta is 44 degrees, then that'll be D uh, tan 22 degrees. Okay, so now let's, let's rethink the entire problem. So now we have the same speaker here. So the power is 1.92 watts. Okay. And so um, now we have these two people out here. Okay. And, and this one's at 22 meters. That one's at 78 meters right here. So that's going to be our uh, uh, D1 and D2, 78 meters. And so I want to know what's the sound level. Okay, so out here, R1, so the, the, where the sound spread out out here, is now going to be 22 meters tangent of, uh, um, uh, uh, times tangent of 22 degrees. So R1 is going to be uh, equal to 8.89 meters. R2, spreading out here, so it's a larger uh, area it's spread out over, but that's going to be 78 meters times tangent 22 degrees. So R2 is going to be 31.5 meters. Okay. So that means the sound level of 1 is going to be equal to 10 dB log I over I, I1 over I0, I1 is going to be the total power output divided by uh, pi R1 squared. And so that'll be 1.92 uh, uh, watts divided by pi times 8.89 meters squared. So I1 comes out to be... Uh, 7.73 times 10 to the minus th third watts per square meter. So that would mean that intensity one is going to be equal to that times log of 7.73 times 10 to the minus three watts per square meter divided by 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Okay, and so that comes out to be 98.9 decibels way louder than it was with an omnidirectional speaker. Okay, and, and so uh, uh, now the question is, well, what about the other person? So for the other speaker, other person out here, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know out here, then, then uh, I2 is going to be power over pi R2 squared. And so that'd be 1.92 watts divided by pi times 31 uh, point 
five meters squared, and that's going to be 6.16 times 10 to the minus fourth watts per square meter. And so that means that beta 2 is going to be equal to 10 log of 6.16 times 10 to the minus 4 watts per square meter divided by 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. And so beta 2 uh, is 87.9 decibels. So notice that with the directional horn here, the person at the farther distance actually hears the sound louder than the person at the near distance with the omnidirectional speaker. So that's why uh, the tornado sirens and so forth often have those little horns on them to direct the sound out. And when the horn's pointed towards you, it's loud. When it's pointed away from you, then you're really just hearing the echo of that sound off of other things. So this is an example of speakers and, and sound intensity and sound level.